welcome back this week I am doing a plan with me for October 5th through the 11th the kit I am using is from papered kiss how adorable is this so what it came with is this decorative sheet all these different cute little Halloween um, images look how cute this little cat is with the bow I think that's my favorite one so that is the decorative sheet then we have um, checklists, icons, weekend flags, teardrops, heart checklists, all in Halloween colors. The next sheet has some headers that say to do to clean important and they just have four different background patterns. Then we have these half boxes with a little flag that are super cute. We have some asterisks and some blank dots. We have some more little decorative stickers. And then we have full boxes. And these are really, really cute. These have little skulls. These have candy corn and these are just chevron. And then you have your washi sheet or, you know, comes with washi strips. And then these skinnier ones you can use to cover up the morning, day, and night, which I love. That is always a plus to me if a shop has these morning, day, and night cover-ups to match their kit because the colors that come in the Erin Condren don't always match what you are wanting to do with that spread. So those make it easy to plan. And the washi I am using, this one is from the Dollar Tree. Yeah, Dollar Tree. These three are from Michaels and this one I got online. I will link the shop where I got this. They have other washi as well, not just Halloween. Then I've got Paper Mate Flares, my Erin Condren, and then I will be using scrapbook paper. So I just have this cute black and white polka dot print to cover up the days. And then I got out my Halloween sticker books just in case because I do want to use them as much as possible since I have so many. And I did my monthly spread for October and I filmed while I decorated it so if you guys are interested in watching that I will have the link down in the description bar and I think it turned out really really cute this is what it looks like so I think my favorite is this glitter washi from Target and it's like not the messy glitter it's not loose it's like it does not it doesn't come off so if you're worried about it making a mess no worries so let's get into this week so I'm not going to white out the words this week because my washi is pretty dark so I don't think I'm gonna have to worry about it showing through Okay, so I put all of my washi down and the only thing I did was went and grabbed this Halloween washi. It's just a bunch of little stars and it came from the same place as this washi. So I don't know if you can see it because it's clear and then it just has colored stars on it. But it's that one in the middle. So I thought that would be really cute to kind of put in the middle so I could use two bigger washi's on top and bottom and I also did something a little bit different this time I usually put the same washi all the way across right here but I wanted to mix it up because I do have so many different washi's and I want to use them all so I put you know different washi's on top and bottom and then I did the same on the top I put different washi's on the top and I just cut them in half with my paper cutter so I think that looks really 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 cute so now what I'm going to do is take um, these little headers 
and cover up the morning, day, and night. Okay, so I have all of my headers down. I didn't put any right here because I'm going to go ahead and put this super cute weekend banner down. All right, so that is what it's looking like right now. Very cute, very Halloween. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave the dates because this brown kind of looks black to me. You can't really tell unless you look close and then the numbers are already orange. So that matches great. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put checklists down and the kit came with checklists on my to do and to clean and important. Alright so I have my checklist down and she has more but that's all I wanted to use. I just have these um, left. It comes with seven so you can put one on every day of the week if that's how you plan so the next thing i'm going to do is put down one of these lighter color washi probably this white one no because i used the white one already right there i'm going to use this orange spider web one just because i want to use all of their stickers well not all of their stickers but most of them because there are some that I'm going to have to use from other shops. I'm just cutting a flag into this so it can make, make it a little bit more decorative. And I'm going to put it here so I can write payday. And they have a little dollar sign icon right here. So I'm going to stick it to the beginning. Super cute. I'm going to put one of these three heart checklists down because we have three bills that we have to pay on Friday. And I think I'm going to take the purple one. All right. And then I'm going to take one of these checklists and I'm going to cut it in half as like a to-do on Friday because I don't really have that many to-dos. So I'm gonna take a green one and I'm just gonna cut the top off since it's gonna be the flat part. And use this bottom half. And I'm gonna take a to-do sticker, probably this one with the little skulls in the back probably right under this header. I think that looks cute. Makes it little look a little bit thicker. So there is that. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take these cleaning icons that they have and stick them next to my two clean headers. I'm going to take some of these full boxes before I run out of room. Alright, and then I got some Halloween stickers from Lime and Mortar. These are full boxes, so I'm going to grab one of these. I'm probably going to do this one so I can write inside. Okay, so there is that. And then we have these cute checklists. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to use them. Maybe I'll put one on Sunday because Sunday sometimes I have stuff to do to get ready for the next week. I'm going to use an orange pumpkin checklist. Alright, so I just cut the bottom of that off because it was kind of long and I don't really need that many pumpkins for a checklist. So I'm going to save the rest of these for another spread. Okay, so now I'm going to start filling things in. 
So the first thing I have is my card sheet and I'm going to put that over here so I know that these are the things that we have to pay. are these gem girls and the only one that's wearing a Halloween color is this purple one so I'm going to take her and I'm going to take one of these half boxes the next thing one of my to do are these gas cards and one of my to do's is to get gas so I'm gonna take this purple car from Jubilo stick it right here that's really cute. Next thing I have are my Instagram teardrops from Pop Fizz Paper. And I haven't really been posting midweeks, so I'm not even going to put one on Wednesday. Just because I don't always fill it in in the middle of the week if I'm too busy. Not always on Sunday, but I try to do it on Sunday if we're not too busy. If it's not up on Sunday, it'll be up on Monday. And the next thing I'm going to take are these Time to Plan stickers from, um, oh my gosh, Papered Kiss, brain fart. And I'm going to lay layer it, if I could talk, with this purple half box. Okay. The next thing are my YouTube stickers, and I have to film two videos next week. One on Monday, so I'm going to take the record sticker. Okay, so I was on a roll planning, and I did not realize my camera shut off while I was putting stickers down. So I think the last thing you guys saw was me putting some YouTube stickers down from Papered Kiss. So I just put those down. The next thing I did was I got an appointment sticker and put it down on Wednesday because my daughter has an appointment on Wednesday. And these don't match, but I wanted to use them because there's a spot for her appointment time, weight, length, vaccines, and notes. And then the next thing I did was take one of these laptop stickers from Papered Kiss and I put it down on Tuesday so that I can respond to any YouTube comments that I have missed during the week. And there goes the sun. And the last thing you guys missed was me putting down a spot to mark the game on Sunday. So I took a half box from Papered Kiss and a little Dallas Cowboy player from Splendidly Imperfect and layered them down. Okay, so now I'm going to paint my nails on Monday. So I'm going to take one of these little nail polishes from the Nifty Planner. Just going to put it probably at the bottom. Because I like to do it at night when my daughter's asleep because there's nothing worse than painting your nails and then your baby starts crying. That's, that's always fun. So anyways, now I'm going to take this cleaning sheet from Papered Kiss and I'm going to put a laundry basket down. What I'm going to do is on this sheet there's a cute little Frankenstein balloon and it's actually my aunt's birthday on Tuesday. So I'm going to put it down here. I'm just going to take probably this light purple half box and I'm going to stick it here at the bottom. And I'm going to take this cute little balloon and stick it right here. Here comes the sun again. Okay, so there is that for her birthday. The next thing is on Tuesday, I need to go to the post office. Oh look, here's a little present. I'm going to take this little gift icon and stick it down here. It's cute. Okay, anyways, back to, what was I talking about? Oh, on, I need to mail the giveaway goodies. So I'm just going to take a cute flag. next thing I need to put down is that on Saturday my mom is leaving so I'm gonna take another car actually I can use this car for both 
Yeah, so I don't have to waste stickers. So to mark that, I'm going to get a flag. I'm just going to do this solid green one. And that's about it. That's all I need to really mark. Yeah. So now I'm going to fill all of my information in with my pens and I just have paper make flares and then I have a sharpie fine point marker to write on the glossy stickers because they will smear with my paper make flares. So I filled in all of my information. I can't remember what I put this teardrop here for. As soon as I remember, I'll jot it down. So now I'm going to take this decorative sheet and just put them all over the page because that's the most, the most fun part for me about decorating and planning. So yeah, I'm just going to take these little, um, images that are super duper adorable and I'm going to put them around the page and while I was planning I forgot to put a little star here so I remembered to upload the video on this day so that's the only sticker I put down while I was filling stuff in so yeah I'm going to put these stickers down. stickers down and these were kind of small. I was going to put them all random on this um, scrapbook paper but then I remembered I wanted to use some of my stickers out of my sticker book and these are a little bit bigger so I felt like they wouldn't get lost in the polka dots over here because these ones on the bottom are kind of can't really tell but I think this turned out cute. Now I'm going to take um, some of these checklists and I'm going to put them right here because I like to put anything that we run out of during the week down on the side so I can find it easy and I pretty much carry my planner with me when I go places so if I end up going to the grocery store unexpected my list isn't at home I have you know the most important things right here on this side and I'm gonna just oh that's what I was gonna do I was gonna mark that I need to get groceries so I'm gonna put that grocery sticker right there and I'm gonna use a green pen we desperately need some groceries. We are running low. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna take this little knife and fork and stick it over here because one of my things to do is the dishes. Um, I like to use these cute hearts because you can pretty much use them for anything over here for the Cowboys game. Cause I love me some Cowboys and yeah, I think that's it. I have some of these stickers left. Those are so cute. They look like they're like hanging from the half boxes. I love that. So yeah, this is about it for now. Um, I love it. I love Halloween, period. 
it's so fun like these little people and the candy and the pumpkins Frankenstein I think Frankenstein's my favorite because he's just so cute so yeah this is the finished spread I hope you guys liked it I hope you guys had fun watching um, if you guys want to see the finished spread I will put my Instagram name on the screen so you can find me and I will see you guys next week. Make sure you thumbs up the video if you enjoyed. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to stick around for more. And I will see y'all later. Bye!